Our world's oceans are the only truly natural, renewable resource. You add water, light, and then the inherent nutrients that are in the ocean, and voila, you have a highly productive system that provides an incredible amount of protein to feed the world. My name is Lotus Vermeer. I am a marine scientist with the Nature Conservancy. I work on our Western and Central Pacific tuna program, which is focused on reducing the bycatch of species associated with tuna longline fisheries. One out of every seven people rely on seafood and fish as their primary source of protein. Roughly two thirds of the world's tuna supply comes from this region. So chances are, the high-grade sashimi that you're eating in the Japanese restaurants, or even the tuna that you're buying in Whole Foods is coming from these highly productive waters. Roughly one-third of the total catch associated with longline fisheries in Palau are non-target species. Millions of turtles, whales, dolphins, rays, and sharks. And that's a lot of roadkill on this undersea highway. We're conducting research fishing trials that are all focused on the question, can we reduce bycatch and still maintain acceptable catch levels of tuna? The Nature Conservancy's chartered a longline vessel for about a year, a year and a half, and we've done that in partnership with our key industry partner, Luntai Seafoods. We made this day and a half long journey and we were able to find in the middle of nowhere this fishing boat that we are working with. And for me, it was just an incredible moment. With this uh, partnership we have with the Nature Conservancy, we're looking at our longline industry and testing different methods to see if we can catch less sharks and lessen the impact of the bycatch. Can we reduce bycatch by using wider hooks? You see how it's curled inward? The sharks, the turtles can have a better chance at biting at the bait without necessarily getting hooked. Minister Sengabao is the very close an ally in fisheries reform. For me, it was absolutely critical that the minister be able to experience this firsthand and see what's going out in his waters. The tuna fishing industry is a very important industry for the Pacific Islands and Palau as well. I'm hoping that some of the experiments that they're putting forward is actually yielding less of the bycatch. You know, we, we don't have huge land mass. We don't have the oil reserves like the Middle East. This is our oil. Tuna is our oil. And unless we manage it right, we could lose this industry in the future. We need to make sure that our impact is managed in a way that we can sustain the future of our ocean. Ultimately, my hope is that we can ensure that our work here will result in significant and fundamental reductions in bycatch. And not just in the territorial waters of Palau. This small nation could really be the catalyst for marine conservation reform all around the world. <laughs>